Hey guys, and welcome to Number One E-Juice. If you have ever thought about trying to kick the smoking habit, you're not alone. Because nearly 7 out of 10 smokers say they want to stop. Quitting smoking is one of the best things you can do for your health. Smoking harms nearly every organ in your body, including your heart. Nearly one third of deaths from heart disease are the result of smoking and secondhand smoke. You might be tempted to turn to electronic cigarettes as a way to ease the transition from traditional cigarettes to not smoking at all. But is vaping better for you than using tobacco products? Can e-cigarettes help you to stop smoking once and for all? Does e-juice have any harmful substances? Before explaining the composition of the e-liquids, let me quickly explain what is included in the standard cigarettes, which annually causes almost 80,000 deaths in the UK. The design and content of cigarettes continue to make them attractive, addictive, and deadly. There are approximately 599 ingredients in cigarettes. When a cigarette is burning, they create more than 7,000 chemicals. At least 69 of these chemicals are known to cause cancer, and many are extremely poisonous, which includes toluene, carbon monoxide, cadmium, arsenic, ammonia, radon, hexamine, methane, tar, acetone, polonium-210, methanol, hydrogen cyanide, and butane. This is what you get by smoking. Most of the chemicals inhaled in cigarette smoke stay in the lungs. The more you inhale, the greater the damage to your lung. Electronic cigarettes have at least 99% less toxins in them. That's because e-liquid are made mainly of four components. PG, which is propylene glycol, VG, which means vegetable glycerin, nicotine, and flavoring. Those four substances you will find in your e-liquid. The most mysterious sounding components are VG and PG, which I will soon explain. But first, let me explain the obvious ones. Nicotine in e-liquids can come from a variety of different sources, but it most notably is extracted from a plant in the tobacco family. Synthetic tobacco also exists. However, it's not a typical source for the nicotine in e-liquids because it is extremely costly to produce. In spite of common opinion, nicotine is one of the less harmful substances inhaled along with the smoke of traditional cigarettes. Its harmfulness is sometimes compared to caffeine, although it is also not indifferent to health and is a highly addictive chemical. The e-juice flavoring is obtained by adding different aroma substances to the e-liquids. They contain many of chemical substances that create specific flavors. However, each aroma has substances that was certified by medical institutes and are safe for the human body. Aromas can be extracted artificially or naturally. A common belief is that foods made with natural flavorings are healthier than those containing artificial flavor. However, researchers say there is no nutritional difference between natural and artificial flavorings. Okay, so we already have substances that we want to deliver to the body. Why add more? We all need to have something where we can dissolve nicotine and flavor. And there comes both VG and PG, the main ingredients which e-juice is made of. Both of these substances are non-toxic, organic ingredients, mostly tasteless and odorless, which is also scientifically recognized as safe for the human body. Vegetable glycerin, also known as glycerol or glycerine, is a clear liquid typically made from soybean, coconut, or palm oils with a syrup-like consistency. This chemical substance is made by heating vegetable fats under pressure or together with a strong alkali. Vegetable glycerin is widely used in the foods, cosmetics, and pharmaceutical industries. For instance, it is often added to foods to help oil and water-based ingredients mix sweetening or moisturizing the final product. It can also be used to prevent ice crystals from forming in frozen foods, such as low-fat frozen yogurt, ice cream, and other desserts. Glycerin is a common ingredient in pharmaceutical drugs, including heart medication, suppositories, cough remedies, and anesthetics. Additionally, you can find vegetable glycerin in toothpaste as it helps prevent the toothpaste from drying out or hardening in the tube. What's more, it's commonly added to soaps, candles, lotions, deodorants, and makeup. Propylene glycol is an organic chemical compound soluble in water on an industrial scale. 
Propylene glycol is obtained by hydration of propylene oxide. A number of animal tests were carried out and based on these tests, the harmfulness of this substance to the human body was determined to be insignificant. The inhalation of propylene glycol vapor in the light of current knowledge, it is not at all risky to your health. The important thing is that glycol does not accumulate in the body. Propylene glycol is widely used amongst food and chemical industries, in hygiene products and cosmetics, in medicine and pharmacy. So why use both and not just one? This is because both ingredients have different consistencies and properties. While VG is more denser, it slightly dissolves the taste, but it produces much more vapor. On the other hand, PG improves flavor and gives a better throw hit experience. It all leads to individual preferences, where those two components are most often mixed together in different proportions. So remember, if you like big vapor clouds, go for that VG, but you'll be sacrificing the taste. But if you prefer better taste and throw hit, you will want to choose a juice based on PG. Are e-cigarettes harmful? Now the evidence suggests that vaping is far safer than smoking. Electronic cigarettes do not contain tobacco, which causes the damage from smoking or a chemical reaction from burning. Things that are most dangerous in burning tobacco are largely absent from vaping. Since there is no combustion in vaping, there is no tar or carbon monoxide, which are the other two major dangers of smoking. Electronic cigarettes usually contain nicotine, which is an addictive chemical, but it doesn't cause cancer. And you always have an option to not use nicotine in e-liquids. It just helps to quit. An estimated 2.9 million adults in Great Britain currently use e-cigarettes. And of those, 1.5 million people have completely stopped smoking cigarettes. Now, a recent study has shown that smokers can increase the chance of giving up smoking by 50% if they use electronic cigarettes. This is because e-cigarettes not only satisfy nicotine cravings, but also satisfies the needs of smokers' habits. Good e-juice is not only the base, flavor, and nicotine. Branded liquids consist of more than 20 different substances. All liquids differ in formulas. The aftertaste, viscosity, consistency, taste on the inhale, and taste on the exhale. It's very difficult to obtain the right formula for mixing e-liquids. The final character of the liquid is determined by the presence of the less known ingredients in the recipe. Their type and quantity are unique for different producers, and most often they are the secret of the recipe. Liquids bought from reliable and recognizable manufacturers will provide the user with much greater satisfaction. Using e-liquids of known manufacturers is the basis and one of the aspects of proper use of e-cigarette. It is worth checking whether you can find information on the composition of the product and the company that produced it. Following by such information, we limit the risk of buying a defective product.